Hello and welcome to episode two of the YouTube basic training series. Today we're going to talk about how to get you from where you are out there to where you need to be inside here. So this is the strategy session. So let's get started. Alrighty, in a previous video we talked about point A and point B and in this video we're going to define those two points and see uh, what we need to do in order to bring, uh, bring you from point A where you are now to point B. So in simple terms point A is all of the uh, value that you bring with you. Uh, point A includes your life experiences, your education, your training, your skills, and your talent. And based on what we have in that piece of luggage, we can determine where point B needs to be. So to give you an example, let's say that you, uh, you love to fish. You started fishing with your dad when you were a little kid and your dad taught you everything you uh, know about fishing and you just continued to sport because you loved it so much and you learned along the way. Now, you may know how to identify a bass from a bluegill, from a perch, from a crappie, uh, from a channel cat. You, you can tell by looking at them. You know what they are. You know what they look like. You know the, how they feel on the line when you hook one. You can tell if if it's a bluegill, you know it's going to be jerking violently. If it's a bass, it's going to be more of a surging pull. Uh, so you know all that. Uh, you also may know, probably know, how to clean a fish. Uh, if it's a small pan fish, you know how to clean it. If it's a larger fish, you know how to fillet it. You may know how to cook that fish. Uh, so there's a lot of things you know not only about fishing, about fish identification, about cleaning fish, filleting fish, uh, cooking fish. You may also know what type of lure to use based on the time of year, the time of day, the type of water you're fishing in. So there's a lot of things that you could uh, utilize from your luggage of information and skills and talents to create a YouTube channel about fishing. Now it doesn't have to just be about fishing. It can be about, like we said, fishing, what type of lure to use to catch a specific type of fish. You can do a video on that. You can do a video on how to clean a fish. You can do a video on how to fillet a fish, how to cook a fish. You can have like four or five buckets in that fishing niche that you can uh, utilize to create different types of videos for your viewers because if they're fishermen or fisherwomen, um, they're going to be interested in all of those. So you can use that skill to create a YouTube channel about fishing. You may also be a musician. You may know how to play the guitar. You may know how to play the piano. You may know uh, basic chord progression. Uh, you know what a 1-4-5 progression is if somebody says that's what we're going to use in this song. You know how to do that. Those are things you could teach to your viewers on your YouTube channel if you made one about music. It can be videos about guitars, about pianos, how to form chords on a piano based on mathematics. Uh, you can show how to play a specific song. You can show how to tune a guitar. If you don't have a piano to tune by or a, a tuner, uh, you can show the mechanical process of tuning a guitar. You can show how to put new strings on a the guitar. There's a lot of videos that you can make based on your musical talent. So what we're going to do next is make a list. Get a piece of paper, Draw a line down the middle on the left hand side, write down all of the talents and skills and knowledge that you have uh, gained over your lifetime so far. Whether it's music, cooking, uh, 
fishing, uh, mechanical, uh, car repair, detailing a car, whatever it happens to be. List all those things and make a nice list of everything that you can think of that you know something about. After you do that, go through and pick out a few of them that you have a passion for, that you know a lot about, that you would like to teach other people about, and that you feel confident that you could teach them the things that you know. And take those things and move them to the right side of that vertical line, and those are the things that you can pick from to create your YouTube channel. Now, you can also create what's called a variety channel, where it doesn't fall into any specific niche. Uh, a lot of YouTube uh, creators do a daily vlog or a weekly vlog or a vlog every so many days where they just take you, uh, take the viewer with them on their travels to go do an errand or something. Uh, that's, some of those are also very successful. So there's always that option if you'd like to create that type of YouTube channel. So there are a lot of possibilities based on what you know and you know trust me a lot more than you may think you know so make your list uh, put down everything that you know that you have talent for that you could teach or you could share and then transfer the ones that you're passionate about over to the other side and from those pick the type of channel that you want to create If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Any questions, leave those down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stick around uh, for the next one because it'll be coming up soon. Meanwhile, uh, click that subscribe button down there and click the little bell so you'll get a notification when I upload a new video so you don't miss anything. Alrighty? Alright. So, I think that's it for now. Until I speak with you again and even after that, stay focused.